Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, let's learn how to record a workflow using Automator. So Automator is this handy tool you'll find in your Applications folder that allows you to go ahead and create scripts that can do repetitive actions in OS X and using lots of different applications. You can also go ahead and record some actions just by simply performing them and save that recording as a script and have it performed over and over again. Let's take a look at an example. So here's an example. Suppose you're in Safari and you want to save a page as a PDF. Here's a page of technical specifications for the MacBook Pro at the Apple website. Say you want to save this as a PDF. One of the things you would do is go to File. Then you would go to Print. Then you would click on the PDF button here at the bottom and choose Save as PDF. And then use this File dialog. Navigate to where you want to go to and Save. Well, that's a lot of steps to do but, and if you're doing this a lot you probably want to automate it. Let's look at how. So when you first run Automator you get a screen that looks like this. You're going to choose Custom and then hit Choose. And now on the left here there's all these different commands that we can add to the right to create our script. We're not going to use that. Instead we're going to hit the Record button to record exactly what we do. So we're going to hit Record. Then we're going to go down to the dock which you can't see and choose Safari. So Safari comes to the front. I'm now going to hit Command P and it's going to bring up the Print dialog. I'm going to click the PDF button there once. I'm going to move down and click the Save as PDF. Then I want to navigate to a folder I've created called PDFs. To do that I'm going to use the Search dialog over here. Type in PDFs. It will appear as the only folder there in my results. Click on PDFs right there and click Save. That's exactly what I wanted to do so I'm going to press Stop. And now I can see my complete script on the right. Now it's important to really think about each command before you go ahead and record your script. For instance, everything here has a purpose. I'm clicking Safari in the dock. I'm not clicking on the Safari window because this will ensure that Safari runs. If I clicked on the window it would actually be looking for a window of that title which will change from page to page. Then I'm pressing Command P which seems to be more reliable than selecting File and then going down to Print because doing this second will actually go ahead and follow your cursor movements which sometimes can differ depending upon what's going on in your screen. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the PDF button. Now I'm going to click it once and bring up the pop-up menu. Not click and drag down because Automator doesn't seem to record that very well. Then I'm going to click a second time on the Save as PDF. Then I'm going to bring the Save window to the front. It already is in the front but I'm actually going to go ahead and drag it over which is what you saw. I'm going to click on the text field there which is the search text field. Type in PDFs. Now I could have just clicked on PDF that was inside the Save dialog but perhaps it's not there. Perhaps the last time I saved something in Safari I saved it somewhere else and PDFs isn't available. By searching for PDFs I ensure that it will show up on the screen so Automator can select it. I'm going to click the text PDFs which will set it to that folder then click the Save button. Now this should be a pretty repeatable set of steps no matter what Safari page you're on no matter what else is going on although it is possible to screw it up. So the next thing I need to do is save this so I can reuse it. You can save it in a lot of different ways. You can save it as a little standalone application that will run. You can also save it as a plugin which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to set it as a plugin that will be in the script menu. The script menu will appear in the upper right hand corner of your Mac. It looks like a little scroll icon that's near your clock in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I'm going to save it as uh, Save Safari to PDF. And I'm going to click Save. So here I am on a different page in Safari and I want to go execute the script. So I'm going to go off screen here to the little script menu in the upper right hand corner and at the bottom I've got Saved Safari to PDF which you can't see. But when I click it you'll see the result. It automatically goes ahead and we'll switch back to Safari. Then it will go ahead and go to the print dialog, go to PDF, go to Save as PDF. We'll bring up that Save dialog. Then it's going to go ahead and type PDFs in there. It's happening a little bit off screen, but you can see what's going on. Then you go ahead, select PDF, and hit the Save button. And there it's done. Now, notice it took a long time to do that because it was playing back everything at exactly the same time as I originally recorded it. We can fix that too. 
So here in Automator if I scroll this window over to the right you'll see that there's a timeout, a delay between actions, and also the playback speed for each action it's set at 1x. What I want to do is I'm going to select all of the different actions there and I'm going to set a zero timeout and set it to playback everything at 10 times the speed. Then I'm going to go ahead and save it as a plugin, replace what was originally there. So that's a look at how to create a recorded script using Automator so it can repeat something every time you need to. You can go ahead and create this script and save as PDF every time. You can also use it to do other actions that include multiple menus and multiple choices. It's really tricky to use Automator. You've got to kind of play around with it, get used to it, try things over and over again to really get the hang of it. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>